Well, folks, I think it's time I make this video now. So we're looking at my Howard Miller uh, Sandringham wall clock. Beautiful finish. Originally got this off eBay for about 180 bucks. Running fantastic. But as I'm sure you guys know, this clock's having a couple issues. Like for one, um, two of the hammers were defective and were missing that little piece of rubber, which makes the chimes sound better. And also, you guys may have noticed on one of my live streams that one of the chime rods was out of tune. So I'm gonna go over how exactly I'm gonna do this. Now I've already replaced the hammers in this thing, but I'll show you guys how I did it. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. Here I am looking at the movement for the Seth Thomas Tambor mantle clock. And as you can see right here, why three of the hammers went missing. Well, these things are actually really easy to get off. So if you look right there, there is a screw right there, which takes a flathead screwdriver. You basically just stick the screwdriver in, turn it counterclockwise, and then the screw will come out and then the hammer just slides off the metal rod. So that's basically how I got the hammers off and on there. So that's just a bit of an example of the hammers I used. So now let's go over to the movement of the uh, sandring ham. All right, I got the sandring ham off the wall now. Here we are looking at the inside of the movement. It's a Hermley 341-020 uh, D movement. It is functional. Now, as you may see on the hammers, you can tell that there's some black screws on two of the hammers. Yes, those black screw hammers came straight from the Seth Thomas Tambor movement, while the silver ones were already on the clock. So those were the hammers I basically replaced. So just an example of that. And while I'm at it, see, one of the chime rods is missing. Yes, so I was not aware of what I was doing so as a result, I tried to adjust the chime rod, which I knew was a bit of a mistake. And out of nowhere, the rod just snapped out of that hole, sadly. Now, because of the way the chime rods were designed, they basically cannot be put back in there. So here's what I had to do. That's right. I had to go ahead and place a whole new set of chime rods. I literally just got these off eBay. I'm literally filming this like an hour after these arrived. But this is the new set of chime rods that we're going to install in there. I purchased these off eBay for a pretty good price. And they're in really good condition. Oh, and by the way, I may as well show you the defective parts. So for one, here's the chime rod that snapped off. It just completely snapped out of there and it cannot be put back in. And on top of that, here is the defective hammer. This is the defective hammer. As you can see, it is missing the little piece of rubber that goes on the bottom. Same with this one over here. So as a result, the chime will not sound good. But that issue has been fixed. These hammers are probably going to go bye-bye because they're pretty much worthless. And likely that chime rod as well since it can't really be put anywhere. So I thought I'd show you guys the leftover parts from this. All right. I got the face off of the sand ring ham now as well as the hands. So now... We just need to get these two screws unscrewed because those screws are what is holding in the chime rods. So by the time I do that, I can go ahead and get the new chime rods put in and see what this does. So I'm going to get these screws unscrewed and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, I just got the old chime rods out. Yeah, as you can see, that one is uh, 
just broke out. So as a result of that, we're going to go ahead and replace this. I might just use the current screws that are in the clock, or I could attempt at use the screws that came with this. So I'm going to go ahead and install these in the clock, and I'll get back to you guys once I do that. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Okay, the new set of chime rods is now inside the clock. This is the new set, and it is now installed, and I think this thing is good to go. So once again, here are the old chime rods, which of course are probably no good anymore. So, yeah. But yep, the new chime rods are now installed, and so, yeah, that's good news. And they're screwed in there pretty good. So I think we're good to go. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the face and hands back on. And then I'm going to get this thing hung back up on the wall. And I'll catch you guys back then. Well guys, without further ado, I think I've just successfully fixed this thing properly. And now it sounds much different and better at the same time. I'm so happy I was able to finally do this. This thing finally sounds better than before and it's still running strong to this day. So I hope you all enjoyed this little video about this and Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye guys.